Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So there are many ways that the universe, God, our spirit guides, angels, whatever, try to get in touch with us, communicate with us, send us messages, let us know we're on the right path or really kind of like what we should be doing. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over a few of those numbers. If you do end up liking it, let me know in the comments below or shoot me a like on here and I'll make a follow-up video with some more numbers. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do something a little, a little woo-woo. I'm excited for it. So angel numbers, otherwise known as repeating numbers, such as 111, 222, 555, 888, you got the 1111 is probably the most mainstream angel number. Because each angel number or repeating number holds a specific meaning. And while the, the meanings of the numbers are pretty universal. They're obviously going to change or vary a little bit from person to person, depending on what point of your life you're at, where you're going, what's going on in your thought world, what's going on in your subconscious. It can also depend on when you're seeing the numbers. Oh, there's a spider. There's a big spider. Um, no, 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 no. We're going inside. I try to enjoy the outdoors. I try. And the bugs, they just can't do it. They're not for me. So we're gonna we're gonna head in here. It's a little darker in here, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know what? I gotta turn the dishwasher off now. So where were we? Ah. The fact that Angel numbers can vary. Why is the dishwasher so annoying? I paused it. This is not working out for me. <laughs> BRB. Ow! Oh! Shit! Ugh. Fuck! Oh my god, totally unnecessary. <sighs> I feel like this is the universe telling me I shouldn't be filming this video. <laughs> ah! I just banged my knee against the table. It's a marble table, so it hurt like. Okay. A lot of times, these numbers are not only meaningful for you in your own life, but really how you're connecting to other people, such as family members or your soul family or soulmates and twin flames and things like that. So we can get into that in other videos if you guys do like this one. Okay, so the biggest thing with angel numbers is that often when we see them, we have kind of like I mentioned in my last video, like an intuitive feeling, like almost a knowing that you're trying to receive a message or someone's trying to send you a message and you just kind of know. So for example, I see 222 and 666 very often. And sometimes when I see other repeating numbers like 333 or 888 every once in a while, like I notice it, but it doesn't really like do anything to me. So in that sense, I know that the 222 and the 666 and 666 is not an evil number, BT dubs. I know that those are meant for me because I just have that intuitive feeling where when I see other repeating numbers or other angel numbers, I don't have that feeling. So I know that like, you know, they're not as big of a part of the message as I, as my guardians or God or the universe is trying to send me. So with that being said, let's get into it with 111. So this is a super powerful number for kind of checking in with what you're doing in your life and your thoughts and your feelings. Because basically what it means is that whatever you're doing in your life or whatever you're focusing on or whatever you're thinking in your head is becoming a reality. It is manifesting into your life. So this could be positive or it could be negative. So it's really just like a, hey, hey, 
check in with your thoughts are you thinking positively are you thinking negatively about a certain circumstance in your life it signifies new beginnings or starts so if you're seeing 111 pretty often check in with yourself especially when you actually notice the number so like if you were driving or whatever and you're thinking about you know how miserable you are at your job and you look over and you see 111 check in with your thoughts and basically that is signifying that you're you're magnetizing that thought with the angel number so if you're unhappy that's what's going to continue happening so this is like a really good time to kind of check in and and, and look at the glass half full instead of half empty because whatever you're thinking whatever you're feeling is coming to you it's coming into fruition for you so if you're thinking ah oh, you know, I'm so broke and I don't have any money and da 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 and you're seeing one on one all the time, you're bringing that lack of money into your life. Whereas if you step back and change that thought frame and have some, you know, positivity and overlap it a little bit, you will bring more prosperity into your life. So if you're thinking those thoughts and you see one on one and you're like, hold on, Sarah said I need to check in with my thoughts and feelings. And right now I'm feeling negative, how can I feel positive? Well, hey, instead of being upset that I didn't get that raise at work, I am so grateful for the money that I do have. I am so grateful and happy that I'm able to, you know, live in a home and put food on the table and, and put clothes on and, and do the dishes and wash things and, and just make sure that you're really on that more positive path. And that doesn't mean, as I've said many times before, that, you need to be thinking positively all the time. Is that the goal? I mean, yeah, kinda, sure. But like, we're human, not realistic. So if you're seeing one-on-one, -on -one, check in with yourself. Check in with your thoughts and feelings. So two, two, two. This one is near and dear to my heart over the past year. So number two is the number of duality, of pairs, of union. It's all about listening to your intuition. It's listening to your faith and trusting that things are working out for the better good. It's all about balance and trusting that whatever you're doing is working and you're moving in the correct direction. 222 represents balance and harmony. And because of its duality nature, 222 often represents that you have a union coming or a twin flame in your life. Twin flames, whole other video topic. I actually have a guest speaker coming on the channel soon and we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that a little bit, so that'll be fun. And a lot of you know who said guest is, so I'm very excited. So just know that the number 222 signifies that things are coming into balance for you, that things are working out, to have trust and have faith, not only in yourself, but in whatever bigger energy you believe in, whether it's God or the universe or whatever source energy or creator, it is sending you a message that you are on the right path, that you are doing the right thing, and that everything that you are doing is working out, and to keep on going. Okay, next is angel number three, three, three. And this number signifies creativity. It signifies spark. It's letting you know that it's you still have work to do and it's time to step up whether it's in your personal life whether it's in your professional life and know that whatever you want is attainable and you're on your way but you're not there yet and you have to keep working and moving towards it to hit whatever that goal is and you want to really listen to your heart listen to your soul what does your heart want for you is it time to step out of the societal norms? Is it time to start that new business or that new hobby that you really want to, that you're, it's almost like, what it feels like to me is almost like listening to your inner child. And you know, the inner child's like, you know, stuck in a box. It's like, let me out, let me out. And when you're seeing 333, that is your angels or whatever, giving you a message to like, do it. Go ahead. The timing is right. Let yourself be free to stay focused, to keep moving forward, and to do what makes you happy or what you believe will make you happy. It could mean moving forward on something that you've been a little uneasy about or you've been a little unsure about, you're not sure. Your angels or your guardians, God is telling you, do it. 
make the jump, make that commitment. So those are just the three numbers I'm gonna go over today. If I did like all the numbers, we'd be here for like five hours, which I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you'd really like to sit through a five hour video for me, but um, I'm a little hungry, so I'm not gonna do that. So if you guys do like this type of content, let me know and I will make a follow-up video with some more angel numbers. And another tip is, uh, Something that I do to kind of like magnify the power of these numbers when I'm seeing them is speaking about something or, or speaking about whatever that number represents, either in my head, usually I say it out loud. So for example, if I see 111, I will say something like, you know, I am so excited to be on this journey. I'm so grateful with where I am and I'm open to new ideas, fresh ideas, and I'm open to opportunities. If I see 222, maybe I will speak aloud a loving message to someone I'm thinking about on the receiving end. If I'm thinking about number 333, I'm thinking or saying, hey, I'm open to creativity. Hmm, what are the things that you know, universe, God, show me what is the next move for me. Show me what is the next thing I should be doing in my life. You know, help me get that creative spark and I'm open to it. So I love you guys so much. I really had so much fun making this video. I think angel numbers are like super cool. So if you liked it, like I said, let me know below and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.